Hey everyone, Diworm here, bringing you a solo cell found guide for farming strongboxes. This has been my favorite strategy so far. It is a versatile atlas tree, lucrative, you can find almost anything in strongboxes that you need and it is not too difficult. Perfect in other words for solo cell found. This strategy goes the extra mile with the investment and the scarabs. You won't be able to self-sustain in terms of scarabs in solo cell found most likely, but this is an atlas tree that works very well with many different scarabs. You don't have to put in the ones for strong boxes per se to get value out of this strategy because the map device also gives 5 strong boxes for 7 chaos orbs. That may seem like a lot, but you're pretty much always making that back, either in raw currency or with divination cards. The strategy doesn't have any prerequisites, it has moderate investment, the 7 chaos on the map device and the scarabs if you have them of course. The monsters that spawn out of the strong boxes are as strong as the map monsters, they are in fact the map monsters, so if you can defeat those, you're good to go. This strategy is also my default atlas for various other characters I am leveling right now, meaning it also works in lower tier maps. You don't have to run this in tier 16 per se, it works in lower tiers too. There are tons of scarabs that fit into the atlas passive tree as I told you, so you'll have very few dependencies on scarabs. How this strategy works is actually very simple. We're opening a bunch of strong boxes in the maps which provide tons of scarabs, divination cards, raw currency, maps and quite some random loot. It is fast, much faster than most strategies with me completing maps in roughly 4 minutes. With the same build, running the same maps, it took me at least twice as long to complete maps for the master strategy, which was in the last video. I didn't block all league mechanics this time, but I left a few open. Delirium is just a bunch of free extra monsters in your map without really slowing you down, so that's fine. Legion I don't find too bad either should it spawn, although that depends very much on your build. And Ritual is decent even without investment in solo cell found. It gives some raw currency, which is always welcome. There's not much else to this strategy, apart from running the maps and clicking on a bunch of strong boxes, so let's continue. Let's talk about the pros and cons. First, the pros. 1. This strategy is versatile and works with tons of scarabs. Of course, those for strong boxes, but also the cartography ones for maps or the generic ones for pack size or shrines or even rogues if you want to. It's also versatile in terms of the atlas tree as you can combine these nodes with something else that you enjoy. I kept it simple, however, for this video. 2. It is fast, you run maps in 4-5 to five minutes with my build. 3. It provides good rewards that are very useful in SSF, like maps and currency. And 4. You don't need a good build to run this. Everything is super manageable and these aren't juiced up maps or monsters. There are cons too, however. Just one that I could think of. Strong boxes drop a ton of smaller stacks of loot, which means you will be clicking a lot. I would edit the loot filter a bit to not go nuts, but even with my rather strict filter it is a lot of clicking. With scarabs you have tons of options really. The regular ambush scarab adds 5 additional strong boxes which is obviously good. The scarab of potency makes, as you might expect, the strong boxes more potent by increasing their explicit modifiers. I did a little bit of testing and it seems the explicit modifiers are impacted with numeric values. For example, the off bounty suffix, according to the wiki, provides 30 to 60% increased quantity of contained items. I found one here in the map and it provides 89% of quantity because of the scarab. I tested this with a few more affixes and it seems in general to apply to numerical affixes, those that have flat numbers and percentages. It doesn't apply to a suffix like of corruption, which just adds an extra vial gem. 75% of an extra doesn't really work it seems, which makes sense. The ambush scarab of discernment gives you the rarer versions of the strong boxes. 
Those are various unique strong boxes, which you will see a lot more of, but also the more uncommon rare versions, like the Diviner's strong box, which gives divination cards. The Ambush Scarab of Hidden Compartments provides a 15% chance for strong boxes to be reopenable, which is additive with the Atlas Tree. This sums up our total to 31% chance to reopen using this Scarab, which is very good because once this is triggered, it can trigger again on the same strong box, in theory indefinitely, although that chance would be incredibly small, infinitesimally small, some would even say. There is one more ambush scarab, the one of containment. I'm making a separate video on this little guy. It is rare, I've done a bit of testing with it and it is absolutely worth it, but you know, stay tuned for that video. Let's talk about the Atlas Passive Tree and the choices I made. I'm literally taking all strongbox nodes because they're so good. Twice tempted as a strongbox for 3 points. That's honestly a little bit debatable with the investment we're already doing. This is the difference between 10 or 11 strongboxes in your maps, which is not a massive difference. All other nodes are mandatory for SSF in my opinion. Tamper proof makes them rare and corrupted, which means just more loot. Secret compartments we discussed. This cluster adds in total a 16% chance for strong boxes to be reopened. I'm also investing in all the duplication nodes, doubling the maps, currency and divination cards we're getting from strong boxes. This is excellent, you get so many divination cards and here in this clip you can even see me dropping two houses of mirrors. The divination cards are a big part of your sustain and a big source of crafting currency, but I found the maps very good too, as they are corrupted and pretty much ready to run. The rest of the atlas isn't much of a surprise if you have seen some of my other atlas trees. I'm investing in the possessed rogue and monsters combo with ruckus, exiled will, seance and unrelenting torment. I'm taking a bunch of scarab nodes, even though the strong boxes don't respect this atlas limitation. It means that they can drop literally any scarab despite me blocking leak mechanics on the atlas tree, but the monsters spawning from the strong boxes do respect those limitations. That is a lot of monsters still, and they drop tons of scarabs as well. I've taken the left side of the leak mechanic nodes, so better haunted modifiers, and I'm spamming all flames. It's just fun, and all these monsters can be captured in strong boxes and then be reopened time and time again. It can lead to some pretty broken situations. I've chopped the right side of the tree for the leak, as I'm kind of done picking up so many corpses, and I'm also kind of done with crafting. Lastly, we're blocking some mechanics, the ones that I simply don't enjoy as much. We're getting a bunch of all flames, so use those. I'm spamming them basically as I get them. And like I mentioned, these get captured in the strong boxes, so you're double dipping here with reopening strong boxes. I'm ending the video with a few pro tips. One, if you don't have a build that can take an Ice Nova to the face, or an explosion, or 34 detonate deads, run away after you open a strong box. Two, strong boxes capture native map monsters, which include the ones you put in via all flames. Make use of that, especially because you can reopen them and thus respawn many monsters with great loot. Three, you can strategically open multiple strongboxes at once while keeping enough distance from them, killing the monsters of the previous strongbox you opened. Get some practice in and you're zooming through all of these strongboxes in no time. And 4. Remember that just the map device ambush option already provides 5 strongboxes. On top of that, the map itself can spawn more strongboxes as extra content. As a result, this atlas tree is very versatile and works even without ambush scarabs. Try some of those scarabs that increase pack size or map drops or shrines. They all work great. I hope you try out this strategy, it's one of my favorite ones, let me know what you think. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions for this one. Subscribe and like for more PoE SSF guides. Thanks for watching guys and making it to the end, I appreciate it. Love you all, see you soon, bye bye.